Hey, what's going on guys? Brown with Men's Comics. And in this video, I'm going to give you my picks for the comic books that are hitting Final Order Cut Off this coming Monday night, February 22nd. I always start this video off saying, what is Final Order Cut Off? That is the last time that you can get your orders in for books three weeks prior to release date. So make sure if you want copies of these books that you let your LCS know or you get your pre-orders in online. That way you secure your copy and you don't have to go chase after them on release day. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic pop culture related videos. So please consider subscribing. It's a fairly short list for me this week for Final Order Cut Off. I don't have too many books that I like, but there are some great ones in there. And we're going to get right into it. Kicking off with, I think the champion of this week for Final Order Cut Off would have to be Image. Because we got multiple picks. Starting with that Invincible number one. This is that Amazon edition for it. They're re-releasing Invincible number one in anticipation of the animated series that's coming to Amazon. It's got a lot of buzz. It's been all over social media this week and it's hitting Final Order Cut Off this Monday night. I've talked about how I think Invincible is still a very undervalued series. Yes, the issue number one, that Larry's Comics variant as well. Both well sought after, but I think some of those single issues all the way up to issue 10 still have some value left in them because there's a lot of first appearances just within those first 10 issues. But either way, that Invincible number one Amazon edition is hitting Final Cut Off this Monday night. Also stick with Image, we got Radiant Black number two. Talked about Radiant Black number one on here. We also had issue number one hit a second print Final Cut Off last week, but now we're getting issue number two hit Final Cut Off. Can't say enough good things about this series as well. Kyle Higgins, phenomenal writer. If you're a fan of the Power Rangers series, especially the earlier Power Rangers before Ryan Parrott took over, Ryan Parrott, kick-ass job. But Kyle Higgins, he carried that torch at one time as well. This one, if you like Kyle Higgins, if you like those Nightwing books that he wrote, if you like Kyle Higgins at all and you're not reading Radiant Black, definitely missing out. This is one that you want to pre-order. It's only issue two. And although issue number one is sold out at Diamond, you might be able to find issue number one still on shelves. But it's still good to get in on this one early. Then also from Image, specifically from Skybound, we get Ultra Mega number one. A lot of kaiju comic books have been coming out lately. This one, I actually had the opportunity to read an advanced copy. James Heron's writing this one. Love, love, love the first issue on here. And I feel good about this one. So that's why I'm talking about it. And it's hitting Final Cut Off this coming Monday. So if you like those kaiju stories, this is one you need to have on your radar. Then from Marvel, we get Thor number 13. This is basically one of those plug and plays titles that I'm always talking about. Donny Cates, it seems to be... I won't say it's down, right? But the hype from that Thor series is kind of in that in that valley right now. But that's when the series is the best. You never know what you're going to get from Donny Cates. I'm fully vocal on here. Thor and Green Lantern. Those are my favorite characters. Love Jason Aaron's run. Was skeptical about Donny Cates. Donny Cates has been knocking it out of the park. Thor number 13. Continue to pick up that run. And it hits final cutoff this week as well. Also for Marvel, we have Captain Marvel number 27. Now there's only one reason why I actually have this in this video. I haven't been reading Captain Marvel as much. I've kind of fallen off of it, but I like to pick it up and trade. But Stephanie Hans just posted up on Instagram, a copy of a Captain Marvel variant. A lot of people are asking what issue this is for. In the Instagram post, it says Captain Marvel 17, but I wonder if they're actually meaning Captain Marvel 27. I've tried to research it. I can't find a variant for this. But if this is a variant for Captain Marvel 27, that Stephanie Hines artwork, absolutely phenomenal. No stranger to kick-ass variants. And if this is a variant for that, I'm definitely pre-ordering this. And speaking of cover art, Catwoman number 29. Here's another one. Another great female artist. We've talked about those DC cover bees on this channel plenty of times. While not the shiny object, there's also some great artwork there. And Catwoman 29 is no different. Jenny Frizen, who's done Catwoman before, who's done Wonder Woman before. This Catwoman 29 variant, just from my own personal opinion, I'm picking this one up for the artwork. Love the cover on this one, so I'm definitely pre-ordering this. Which also brings me over into the Indie Showcase portion of this video. Once again, Indie Showcase is brought to you by Black Cape Comics. BlackCapeComics.com, that's where you can pre-order all the books discussed in the Final Order Cutoff video, as well as these indie books, because Black Cape is huge fans of indies, such as I am at Simple Man's Comics. So the first one we're talking about is from Aftershock, and we're talking about Bequest. Kind of reminds me of EverQuest, kind of has that ring in the name for it, but if you like those fantasy tales, here's one that's great for you. And also it's written by comic book power author Tim Seeley. 
Usually I like him for horror comics, but if we're talking about fantasy, I'm definitely into this one. And then here we have where the fantasy world of wizards meets the modern suburban world of Chicago, where we're getting magical items from this fantasy world, Tangia, sold on the black market in Chicago. And it pulls adventures out of the world, Tangia, brings them into Chicago, where they must hunt down these artifacts. But how are they going to fare without their magical powers? Great author and Tim Seeley. But I also forgot to mention that the art and the cover art on this is by Freddie Williams II. Another great artist. He's done cover art for Ninja Turtles. He's also done cover art for Master Universe Thundercats. And he's done a lot, a lot of variant covers and store exclusive variants. But he's doing the cover art and the interior art on this series. So the B-Quest from Aftershock Comics gets is definitely in the Indie Showcase this week. Also in the Indie Showcase from a Blaze Comics, we get Eros and Psyche. This is probably... Not only my indie showcase pick, but probably my pick for this week's final order cutoff. Like I said, this comes from a blaze. They don't have a very large print run, but they have some great titles. And this one is written by Maria Lovett. She's written such great titles for Boom like Faithless. She always has great female characters in their stories. And this one takes place at a boarding school for young girls that is paradise, but only if you follow the rules. If you don't follow the rules, you could end up dead. <laughs> just small, just small consequence. Maria Lovett loved Faithless. Really interested in picking this one up. But another great thing about this one is it's got a bunch of great covers by a bunch of great artists. You have Mirko and Dafo. You have Maria Lovett doing a cover herself. You also have Mercado, who's done a bunch of Power Rangers variants and variants for Boom. You also have Sabine Rich, who's doing like a Harry Potter homage variant. You may not know Sabine Rich, but if you don't, I'm sure you do. Because if you know J. Scott Campbell, Sabine Rich is usually the colorist that's doing the colors that makes those J. Scott Campbell's pop. This Eros and Psyche comic from Ablaze is one to keep note of. And a lot of LCSs might not order this. So that's why it's a perfect candidate to get those orders in. Let your LCS know. Get your order in online before final order cutoff. Pick out the cover you like, but I would recommend at least picking up one copy. So that way, and give the story a read. Because we talk about the covers, but a lot of times it's the story that's in them that makes it what it is. Then lastly, we have some late prints. From IDW, we get Last Ronin number two coming with that second print i believe number two sold somewhere between 130,000 copies from idw and it's going to a second print that tells you how great that story is also from aftershock we have maniac of new york number one this is another indie book a lot of people picked up late and it's doing well not only from a story perspective but it's been doing well in the secondary market and then of course from marvel we get that star wars high republic that that series has been doing really well i of course still like that idw High Republic Adventures series a little bit better, but that's just me. That Star Wars High Republic from Marvel, that issue number one, is coming with a fourth print. So there you have it, guys. Those are my picks for comic books that are in final cutoff this coming Monday night. I can't stress it enough. Make sure you get those orders in, whether you contact your LCS, whether you do it online, if, if you do it at blackcapecomics.com. And remember, a lot of times if you pre-order those books, a lot of stores, a lot of online places will give you a discount as well. So that way you save some money and you secure a copy so you don't go to the comic book store on release day and go, shoot, I wish I would have ordered that. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video.